Hey guys, Jerry here from 3DHB. And, you know, you watch my videos, you see me over on Facebook and on social media. I've been in the hobby for like four years. I've got a lot of FDM printers. I've got only got one resin printer, but I've done a ton, a ton of uh, stuff in resin. And, you know, I put out a lot of videos, or I put out as much as I can, and I'm on live streams, but you know what? I got a new hobby. I've got an MPC and C in the garage I got to do the firmware on. And yeah, it's built. Yes, I need to finish and start building some cool things out of wood and acrylic. But I got a new hobby I'm starting. Check this out. See that box right there? Yeah, it's big. And right after this, I'll, we'll unbox it and I'll show you what it is. Thanks. <laughs> And here we go, guys. Let's open up the box. Let's see what we got here. Really big Christmas present, I guess. And it's cool. At least this package is really nice. Should have to be. They don't get damaged in shipping. And this came straight from California. So at one point, it came over on a, from China. And then I got this in two days. I bought this on Wednesday, and wow, and it was here two days later. And that is looking pretty awesome. Okay, I've got a box inside of a box here. And uh, this temperature display there, or whatever the hell it is. Yeah, reading Celsius is currently running. And let's see. Got a zipper bag here of goodies. We'll go through uh, through all that and see what all we got and set that down. And we got the four white wheels to go on the bottom, the casters. And uh, anyway, I need to get that lifted out of there. I'll cut the box away and uh, get it put up on the counter. And uh, as soon as we get that done, then we'll come right back and do some more taping. Wow, this is really cool. It's big, it's heavy, it's blue. Blue's my favorite color. It's going to work better now. It's blue. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, and if you keep it really clean, it's going to go faster. So, anyway, let's see what we got here. Let's open the lid up. We've got more packing. Let's take all the packing out and throw it on the floor, make a mess. It's like Christmas, you know. Little kid, and you like to uh, tear up presents, you kind of throw it everywhere. Let's see, we got a box, probably got a water pump in it. Looking good. Okay, here's a hose to uh, run outside, it's a flex hose, kind of like a washing machine. It's not the plastic one like I've seen in a lot of videos. This looks a little better, so this might work perfectly fine. And since I enclosed my uh, patio here and I put this wall up, I'll go ahead and I'll vent it out. I'll run a vent up, up to the top. I'll run it out and I can exhaust everything outside. It'll be very easy and simple to do. And here's a water line. I'll have to go to Lowe's or Home Depot, give me a five gallon bucket with a lid. Uh, it comes with a water pump, which I believe this is a water pump, and grab my knife. More than likely I'll buy a better water pump. I've been watching a ton of videos on YouTube and checking out the groups on Facebook and reading all about this. Uh, I'm going to get a cohesion 3D board and put in it. That way I can run Lightburn, the G-code version, which is $40. The cohesion board, I see they're $199. And I sure wish the cohesion 3D would have a Black Friday sale. You know, come on, every... And I dropped the piece. Anyway, everybody seems to have sales every year, so I wish they would have a sale so I can get a deal on some parts. Yeah, a small little water pump for the bucket. And we got the wheels right here. I got my director here next to me giving me my cues. My wife, Brandy. Alright, I'll take a look. And we pull these in two and look at them. Oh, anyway, I didn't scratch nothing. Nice little wheels. I'm not sure if I'll use the wheels or not. I might need them. And let's see what we got here in the baggie. It unzips. User manual. 
which has pictures. Pictures are always good. Large lettering, it's not real tiny. It's in English. That's nice. Um, what's this? Thank you for purchasing our, our product. I bought this from a company in California called Omtech. Here's a sample piece of acrylic. USB connector, flash drive, USB stick. From what I hear of the software, I hear don't use the software. Here's a hose clamp for the uh, filter took up on the back. Got some tape, power cord. Another little sample of something or a pointer. I'll have to read what that pointer is for. Check that out. Maybe that's the point where you're going to be starting at or something. I don't know, but I'll find out. Some little tiny bolts and washers. And let's see what's in the little box. It might be toothpaste, but anyway. Looking like toothpaste. Yeah, I know, obviously it's not, but let's see what we got. We got here. A little tube of some kind of looper again. I'll have to uh, see what that is. Then I dropped another piece down here somewhere. Where'd it go? Here it is. Looks like that's an adapter for the water pump for the hose. And on the control side, yep, you got a screw in there holding it down. And uh, let's see, to take that plastic off, that cover off the acrylic to protect it, that coating, I'll have to take out the screws here real quick and then I can peel that off. Let me get a screwdriver and I'll open that right up. So, yeah, so you go ahead and Anyway, uh, yeah, let me do it. Thank you, uh, Director. Let me do a few more things here, guys, and uh, we'll show you some more goodies. Okay, I'm going to get my nails in another corner here. And even though this is an enclosure, I'm still going to buy two pair of laser glasses off of Amazon so that if I'm ever messing with it just for safety's sake you only got one set of eyes if I should have it lit up and and I'm definitely going to put a switch on here I'll put a safety switch so when you open it it will call the laser turn off the laser beam a lot of things I want to do a lot of upgrades and the milliamp meter I've ordered off Amazon that'll be here in a day or two before I even fire this I'm going to put that thing in because I don't want to take a chance on accidentally hitting it with too much power and having a problem so and then as funds come in I can afford it I'll buy upgrades and get upgrades done on it and I want to be able to etch glass and bottles and things like that so I will either buy or build me probably build since we're not rocket science rocket science build me a, a doohickey so I can turn things on it and I know I'm going to have to have a might have to cut the bottom out, bottom out of it to get more elevation and put that in. I don't know yet. I'll have to wait and see. The cutting area, I believe, is 12 by 8. And it's got a huge air duct here. And I know I can cut down that air duct. And I can give myself a bigger build volume. But I want to make coasters, tiles. There's a lot of things I want to do that I see some of my streaming friends are doing. And I want to sell, make some money, make some Christmas presents. Just all around have fun, you know, I'm retired and just have fun with life. Have fun working on projects and tinkering around. But yeah, this looks very, very well constructed. And there's a blue plastic over top of this bed. I gotta peel all that off. But yeah, definitely looks nice. I took the screw out here so I can see the control panel. I'll show a picture on the screen here what all this looks like. But yeah, everything, it looks well constructed, well built. And I'll upgrade the board, definitely. I will get probably get a bigger water pump. This does look kind of Mickey Mouse. It might work fine, but I can buy a bigger water pump, and they're very reasonable. Um, if the blower that's in it for sucking all the air out isn't strong enough, I'll upgrade it with a bigger one. I'll exhaust this outside and put a flapper on the outside to keep bugs, put a screen over it to keep bugs and stuff out of it. 
Now the wheels, I'm not, I don't think I have to have any air space on the bottom of this. I may or may not put the wheels on. I might put the wheels on, I might not. This table is at a slight incline, so anything on it will roll back, not forward. So I don't have to worry about it rolling off the table, rolling backwards. I could put a stop on the side of the wheels on the side so it doesn't move. I'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, um, like I say, it's lot, got a lot of cool goodies here. And I'm going to put the meter. Uh, I'll probably put it right here on the front. That'd be a good place to see it at all times. I'll hook it up to a laptop. I'll get my laptop, hook this up to my laptop. Get a co Cohesion 3D board for it. And uh, light burn, for sure light burn, G-code version is 40 bucks. I believe the Cohesion board is 199 unless they have a Christmas sale or something, which I doubt from what I've heard, but we'll have to see. And uh, like I say, I'll go through the user manual and read everything in detail, see what it talks about, about doing this and doing that. And I'll refer to all my friends on the groups. And hopefully pretty soon we'll be making some really cool stuff. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention, where is it at? Okay, this came from OMTECH, uh, laser out of California, O-M-T-E-C-H, I'll put it on the screen. And if you use this code right here that I'll put on the screen, you get, I think it's 10 or 15% off. I mean, I saved like 30 or 40 bucks on this. It was normally, uh, I'll put the price on the screen. You know, what I paid for it and the shipping and everything to Vegas. I ordered this on a Wednesday night and on Friday the 13th, it was here. UPS dropped it off out front. He helped me carry it up by the door and then I got a dolly. I wheeled it in the room and here we are. But yeah, this is a great looking machine so far. And of course, there's some upgrades to do, but this is killer. I love it. I see nothing wrong with it. There's no damage. I got took a picture of the tube on the back. I'll throw that on the screen so you guys can see the picture of the laser in the back of it. But yeah, I hope to make many, many more videos about this and show you guys all my cool products. So uh, thanks for watching. Go check out OMTECH. I'm not sure how long this code will be good for, but here's the code right here. And, uh, you know, happy printing. Hey, please like, subscribe, ring the bell. There's a lot of cool discounts below in the description. If you'd like to help support me, there's many ways you, you can do that through PayPal, buy me a coffee, you know, however you want. But I really appreciate all the support and all my friends out there. You take care and happy printing.